Let's get you started with Samurai Seller right away. This is our login page, samuraiseller.com, login button, top right corner. Let's click on it. It pre-populates for me, but obviously your email address, your password. I'm using a random account today to show you these steps and sign in. Here we are on what I call the welcome page. Make sure to read through Samurai Seller first steps, watch the video, click here if you want to watch the other videos that talk more about strategy, not so much about how to use the software or partially, but more about strategy, read through this rest of information. It changes as we progress and find, you know, new things, other things to work. Scroll down, getting started section, review all the data here, click on the links on the other tabs, even further down more information. Now, if you are on the top and let's say you could be even on another page and you want to get back to this getting started section here to remind yourself what was covered or what you need to do next, you can always go to this question mark symbol and click on getting started and it will pull you to this page and this information. Let's go back to the top. A couple other things I want to point out. Samurai Seller logo, top left corner. This is actually clickable. In case you are on some other page, let's get rid of that. For example, create campaigns page and you are done with whatever you were doing. You want to get back to your original welcome page. You can always click the logo and it puts you back to that page. By the way, every single one of these tools that you see here with these individual tabs is going to have their own tutorial. Right now on Create Campaigns page, since we were already there, you can see the video tutorial here. We will probably put them on the other tools and features in some similar position, easily findable, and you can just watch it, use it when you are on that tool. Back to our welcome page. At the very bottom, upcoming features. The reason why I want to point this out is because we take your input and feedback seriously. We take your queries, questions, requested features, and we put it on our development list and we work on that list in sequence of priority. The more users request a certain feature, the more priority it becomes for us. And the way how you report something like that, or the way how you contact us to let us know if you have a question, you need help, or you just want to suggest something for us, by this contact link here, you can click on that. It pulls you to the contact form, you fill in all the information and you send us your query, question or suggestion. Back to our original page, here we are. You can get to that contact form in other ways as well, but that's just the most simple way. So that's why I wanted to show you that. If you scroll down or in the text, in the copy, anywhere you see, let's say contact form mentioned, as you can see, that's also a clickable link. You can click on it and there you are, you're on the same page. I also want to mention, since we were already here in the question mark, that for example, here you have a report problem form. We're probably going to get rid of this since it eventually does the same thing. Original concept was when you click on it, you have a report problem form. You can choose the exact tool you have an issue with, give the information, and then this would, you know, bring um, some point up to our attention that is more of a issue with the software, potential glitch, problem, something like some bug. However, it ends up with the same people in terms of sorting out the, the query and then it goes to the team that is going to deal with it. Therefore, probably a contact form, just a single form is, is going to be a better experience eventually. All right, there you go. Well, you have some stuff to read, some videos to watch, and then see you in the next video.